All right, here are the top five news of the Moroccan football world, focusing on European football. Soccer Rockins out there, welcome back. Thank you for turning in to a new episode of Soccer Rocco. My name is Yusuf, and I don't have much time, but it's a special video. I don't have much time because I'm preparing my birthday. I'm finally turning 22, and you think, you look horrible for 22, same to you. But yeah, if you want to give me a birthday gift, um, my birthday is uh, gonna happen tomorrow, September 7th. If you wanna give me a gift, subscribe to this channel and click the bell because you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you very much. All right, after su subscribing, you're welcome. So much happening in the Moroccan football world right now, but I want to focus on the top five, in my opinion. All right, let's go, let's jump right in. Number one, our uh, Moroccan national goalkeeper, Yunus Bounou, is extending his contract with FC Sevilla, the current Euro League champion. So he's gonna stay for another four years until 20 2024. So good luck, Yunus Bounou. Fact number two, our second goalie, Munir El Mohamedi, 31 years old, used to play for Malaga from 2018 to 2020 is leaving FC Malaga because they have financial problems and they have to save some money so they've saved up his salary and he's gonna join the Super League team the Turkish Super League team Hatay Spor so good luck Munir, Munir Muhammadi great goalkeeper he's gonna help him a lot plus we all know there's a lot of money in the Turkish, Turkish League and they seem to like North African players Down. He just signed a two-year contract with the option of a prolongation of another year. So he's gonna have a great time. News flash number three, several Moroccan players had, have had very successful friendly games in the last days. I think you heard of it. Let's start with Zuhir Fidel. And they all scored goals, by the way. Pretty successful. Zuhir Fidel with Sporting Lisbon against Real Valladolid. He scored a beautiful goal. Then again, Emin Harit and Nassim Boujelev for Schalke 04 versus, uh, what was that? Bochum, VfL Bochum, yes, exactly. And Zekaria Debyed, um, he made it to the first tier, in my opinion. He's gonna help Ajax Amsterdam this year. He's gonna just blow up. And he scored a beautiful goal against FC Augsburg. Very successful friendly game. We all know it's only friendly games, but in my opinion, it's pretty good just to gain some self-esteem and they bring in and they put in Morocco back on that football map so it makes me very proud hail food fact number four LKC Valveig uh, in the Dutch Eredivisie signed a very very talented player his name is Eamon Ezheel they got him from Bayern für Leverkusen very very young 19 year old um, talented midfielder and he was born in Düsseldorf, so a real German Moroccan like me, which I think we're only 12 people, as I said. But he gets a chance to gain some experience, and that's what Simon Rolfes, the manager of Bayer Leverkusen, wanted for him. He needs more professional, um, yeah, a more professional environment, and just to gain more game experience. And I think RKC was. RKC Valweig is gonna give him that chance in the Eredivisie. He's gonna have some tough opponents and Gheer inshallah. And he will also get the chance to play for the German under 19. And I think he, yeah, he's a captain of that team, which makes me very proud and a great guy. Another player to watch for you this season. Okay, before I mention that last news flash uh, information for you, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss anything. There's going to be a new video every Sunday. So Soccer Rocco Yusuf is going to bring you some real nice videos. But you have to earn it with a subscription. Thank you very much. Fact number five. All right, let's wrap it up with some very, very beautiful information in my opinion. Former Moroccan international and midfielder for Inter Milan, Hussein uh, Khadja will join the Moroccan national team as a talent scout. He will focus, he will mostly focus on European Moroccan talents. And I believe that his main job will be to 
convince them to join the Moroccan national team, not the Dutch, French, Belgian, German, whatever team. We need all of them. So I hope he's gonna do a great job and let's see what he can bring to the table. Hussein Khadija. We all know he has been a very, very, very talented, aggressive um, player and I liked him. And I liked his style. I hope he can do the same as a talent scout. Thank you very much for watching that new video. Have a wonderful Sunday night, Monday, whatever. See you next Sunday, inshallah. Shukran bzef. Thank you, Vel. You're the best uh, subscribers in the world. Goodbye.